Purin Defrag is one of the best defragmentation tools you can get for your hard drive PC. Over time, all Windows PC's hard drives become fragmented as files, folders, and programs are used, updated, or deleted, which slows down the performance of your computer. The solution is to defrag your hard drive. Windows does include a defrag program in its optimization tools, but it doesn't do the best job. Purin Defrag does an excellent job of defragging hard drives and will keep your system running at peak condition. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Purin Defrag is great for defragging hard drives, but it should never be used on PCs with solid state drives or SSDs. Instead, a free program to use on SSDs is IOBit Smart Defrag. Not long ago, I did a video about Smart Defrag. I put a link for it in the description below. Here is the Purin site where you can download Purin Defrag. In it, there's a description for Purin Defrag. Its main features, a listing here. Below that, there's an explanation of the different features. And then a download bar for the Defrag program. There's also one up here, but uh, do not hit this bar, Download Purin Utilities, because you will get a number of other programs with it that we don't want today. So we'll hit this, Download this utility for the Purin Defrag program. Hit that, and we'll take you to this page where you can get the Purin Defrag setup file. Hit Download. And it's rather a small file, so it doesn't take long to download. <clears throat> Once you have a download, you can go to the setup file, double click it, and install it on your computer. Here's another source for Peer and Defrag, MageGeeks.com. You'll notice that the program has not been updated since 2016. But that's okay, it works really well on PCs. After all, it has the uh, Geekalicious rating in Major Geeks. Below there is a description of Pure and Defrag and a list of its features again. Some screenshots. <clears throat> to download it, we hit this. Download starts, and again, it doesn't take long. Okay, we have the install program. I'll put links for both the Purin Defrag site and Major Geeks in the description below. We have our Purin Defrag setup file, so let's install it. We'll double click on it. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes on this computer? Yes. Welcome to Purin Defrag. Next. I agree to the, I accept the agreement, next, 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 create a desktop icon, okay, install, all right, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer, yes, that's what we want from here in defrag to make changes, defragging the hard drive. First thing it does is opening it up the first time, takes you to the Purin defrag site, help, and this tells you how to use it, so close that. We don't need this anymore. And now we are ready to defrag. And if you notice during the install, it did not ask to install any other program, any adware, or anything like that, so that's nice. Before we use Purin Defrag, we should look at the settings. In the main tab, there is low priority, and if you check this, then you can work on files at the same time that it's defragging. Shut down after defrag, analyze, so you can see what files might be 
fragment it before doing a defrag, defrag, boot time defrag, and if you hit that, then the system will reboot, and during the boot process it will do a defrag, and that way it can defrag files that I would normally not be able to have access to while the operating system is running. Uh, there are other tabs, additional operations. Fill gaps to avoid frequent fragmentation. Eh, it's pretty well self-explanatory. Optimize directories for faster system access. So have this checked, it will move directories into faster parts of the hard drive so they come up faster. Free some space for Windows temporary files on faster disk areas. Self-explanatory. Boost overall system speed by Purin Intelligent Optimizer. And this is something unique for Purin Defrag where it will move uh, files that you work with the most into the faster areas of the hard drive. Exclude files between sizes well, you can put the size you want in there. Exclude files. Enable file defrag so that you can right click on any file folder and select Purin defrag to defrag it. Good to have that checked. <clears throat> delete files in the list so you can have it delete any files you want before it does a defrag. Automatic defragmentation. Uh, if you hit add, automatic defragmentation or automatic boot time defragmentation. Next, you can select the drive that you want to be uh, fragmented or defragmented and then you can Choose what type of defragmentation process you want and when you want it done. Nice. And about pure and defrag. Okay, now you would be ready to do a defrag. Let's take a look at what you can expect to see during the defrag process. Um, we have the window up for Purin defrag. You hit Bhutan defrag, and what you'll see is a menu like this where you can either start defrag, restart, shut down, restart with a disk check, shut down with a disk check, restart full disk check, or shut down full disk check. So it makes sense to me that, well, the best choice would be to restart defrag, restart. In other words, restart it, and while it's booting up, it will do a defrag. And while it's doing that, it boots up, and this is what you'll see. Uh, Pure and defrag will start analyzing the hard drive. And after analyzing, it will show you some information about the hard drive and also how many fragmented files there are, directories and bytes, uh, the percentage of fragmentation by size, count, and it will start defragging. After it's done defragging, it will show you information about uh, Fragmented files again, which should be zero now. And the percentage of fragmentation by percent uh, by size, zero, as it should be. And then it will optimize the directories, free space, and fill in gaps. When it's done with that, it will boot up again. Now the next selection that you have for defragging is regular defrag while Windows is up. So you hit that and it will start the defrag process starting with analyzing the hard drive and go through all the 
basic steps that it went through during the boot defrag, except it won't be defragging any of the files that uh, it has access to only during a boot or before the Windows system is up and running. Now that your PC is defragged, it'll run real smooth, fast, and it's not cattywampus anymore. That's definitely a good thing. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See you!